stop caring about the facts. Religion, it's all about the feels. The facts don't matter. The religious only appeal to the emotions because that's really all they can do. Because every bit of it is a scam. Religion is a con game. And Alan Schlemann is just proving my point. Back again with a short STR video as Alan Schlemann tries to tell his students to stop caring about the facts. The facts don't matter. Stop trying to convince anyone that your beliefs are real. Instead, get involved in the oldest scam in the world and appeal to people's emotions. Because who cares if any of the crazy nonsense in your head is real, right? It's all about the feelings. Today's apologetic tip of the day is focus on them before you focus on what you want to tell them. Because this is an old con man trick to appeal to the individuals before trying to sell your product. Spend your time complimenting your victim so they're more amenable to your message. Surely, I can't be the only one who recognizes these con games, right? Because that's all STR uses. If you have a legitimate product to sell, then you don't need to play all of these games. Scientists don't feel the need to compliment your hair before they launch into an explanation of physics. They don't have to. Science isn't about feelings. It's about facts really too bad the religion has none. You know, Francis Schaeffer once said, if I have only an hour with someone, I will spend the first 55 minutes asking questions and finding out what is troubling their heart and their mind. And then the last five minutes, I will share something of the truth. Yeah, but Francis Schaeffer was a Christian douchebag, just like these people are. Now, that may mean something to the religious, but to the rest of us, it just means that they're blindly following someone who believed like they do. I'm not sure that's supposed to be impressive. It just shows that these con games have been around for a very, very, very long time. Which, I guess, is no surprise to anyone who pays attention. Religion is the first and arguably the most successful scam in all of human history. A lot of us might think that if we gave our Muslim neighbor or our friend who identifies as gay 55 minutes out of the hour to share about their life and their beliefs and their fears and their story, that we would have squandered our opportunity to make a difference. And you'd probably be right, mostly because you probably have no chance in the first place. But let's be honest about what you're really doing here, because we can see right through you. You don't care about their life. You don't care about their fears. You don't really care about anything they're saying to you. You're not trying to connect with them as a human being, to identify with them as another person on this planet. You're hunting for ammunition. You're looking for something that you can use against them. You're looking for something juicy so you can say, Aha! That's why you're having problems, because you aren't following my God. That's not basic human concern for others. It's a con game. That's all you're doing. But by taking the time to ask them questions and finding out what's going on deep inside their soul, when we do share something in those last five minutes, it will be precisely what they needed to hear. Tailor made to appeal to them on an emotional level because that's all you can do. You can't come up with anything intelligent to say because the things that you believe are not intelligent. Therefore, you have to go after their emotions. You have to trick them. It's why religion is such a scam. And again, you don't see science doing this because science doesn't have to. Science is just, here's the facts, Jack, deal with it. It doesn't have to cater to your feelings because your feelings don't matter. Reality is reality, no matter how it makes you feel. Here's reality. This is it. Take it or, well, 
I guess you can't leave it, so take it or be delusional. And the religious choose to be delusional. Imagine my surprise. And that's because we first took the time to focus on them before we focused on what we want to tell them. That's your apologetics tip of the day. Because you have nothing intelligent to tell them. That's the problem. If you had anything fact-based, then you wouldn't need to play these emotionally manipulative games. You could just say, here are my facts. Present the evidence that your God is real. Show people that you have some kind of rational leg to stand on. The fact that you have to lower yourself to these dishonest tactics shows that you know you're just selling snake oil. You have nothing to be proud of, so you're trying to force your beliefs out there dishonestly. And for some reason, you don't think anyone else sees what you're doing. But we do. It's blatantly obvious. It couldn't be more obvious if you got up in your pulpit on Sunday morning and told your congregation that, hey, you've been lying to them all this time. You just want their money in the collection plate. Actually, that would be more honest than what you're doing, Alan. But honesty isn't part of the religious game plan. They don't care. If they did, they wouldn't have to resort to these absurd tricks to get someone to pay any kind of attention at all. At Stand to Reason, we help Christians to think clearly so they can share their worldview with others. Well, only if Christians want to hand over their money, then fail miserably at everything that they do. Because that's pretty much what STR tells them will happen. Pay us, then expect to get nowhere. It's what all of these apologetic tips of the day are about. Lower your expectations, prepare yourself for failure, but keep those checks rolling in. And of course, STR disables comments, so no one can point out what they're really doing. They're just lying to the religious marks. It's the same thing they're telling others to do to non-Christians. This is all just dishonesty rolling downhill. I fail to understand how anyone can miss the obvious clues. And it's not just them. It's all apologists. It's not just Christians. It's Muslims. It's Hindus. It's everyone. This is the religious game plan. Lie to people. Use dishonest tactics to slip your message in unnoticed. Get that bit of mind poison lodged in someone's head and hope they get terminally infected. I'm sure that's why STR says that you'll fail most of the time. Because most of the time, this garbage just doesn't stick. You have to find someone particularly dumb or really gullible that will swallow it hook, line, and sinker. And that's who they're looking for. Stupid people who don't ask too many credible questions. You know, people who will send them money. Don't be one of those people. Be better than that. Ask questions, recognize the dishonest tactics, and turn them around. Don't let them scam you. Because that's all religion is. It's a giant scam. These people don't care about you. They care about your wallet. They care about your membership in their club. Recognize religion for what it is. You'll be a whole lot better off if you do. And that's your Bitch Spot Tip of the Day. I hope it helps.